So you have a day visit planned to Wet n Wild in Rapport Point in Greensboro, North Carolina, and you're not real sure what to expect and what to plan for your day. I'm gonna show you around, show you some of the eating places, show you some of the attractions. We've done videos from here before, but there have been some updates since then. So I wanted to do a new video and update everything on that. And um, yeah, just let you know a few things to plan your day to make you have an enjoyable day at Wet n Wild. Tip one, just to start off, I noticed as I entered the park that they have a new system this year, the H2GO Pass. Um, I am not sure how much these are. I'm sure you'll have to check online and it may even vary per day. But let me tell you, when those lines get long for these slides, this H2GO Pass will definitely help. From what they told me, it will be all of the raft rides so no body slides all of the raft rides also riptide racer will be included in the h2 go pass so on those busy days it'll definitely be worth checking this out the second tip to let you know about is that wet and wild is also cashless so be sure that you can come and convert cash to a card it's pretty easy to do so be sure you know that before you come and last but not least another tip as well you will have to store your cooler if you're bringing a cooler here so over here to the left of the park entrance you will have to store your cooler and walk out to the picnic area to eat if you are bringing a cooler so no coolers are allowed inside the park one of the first attractions that you will come to once you enter the park and take a right as we're working our way around uh, you will come to splish's happy harbor um, this is a kids play area so i won't walk through there and get any close-ups with uh, the small kids but they do have several water slides they have some splash areas to play in and once you walk right up through there there's a whole another area with a small wave pool and everything back there as well so this is splish's happy harbor working our way around counterclockwise to the left once you pass the happy harbor we have shipwreck cove um, this is a huge pool with some jump off from the shipwreck hence the shipwreck cove but basically just your swimming pool now this is deep water past the rope there so for strong swimmers and jumping off of the ship next up to the left is dr von dark's tunnel of terror this is a raft ride a circular raft ride it is considered high thrill we'll go up there and take a look at them coming down and being a tube ride this is one of the attractions that is now available with the h2 go pass okay yeah it is a two person raft ride so you actually sit facing one another and there it is we've been on this one a lot um you come down part of the slide go into an open area there slosh around a little bit and then continue on down the slide to come out here oh I hear somebody coming anytime there they come all right it is a lot of fun here's from the other side of dr. Von Dark slide and they have redone this area this year um, this is the all new Bermuda Triangle Slides. Now, if you've been here previously or seen our old videos, these were the Serpentine Slides, but they are now Bermuda Triangle. I haven't ridden them yet. I'm sure I will soon, but they have added some disco lights and all on the inside, so that should be awesome. They will be a high thrill ride. I'll show you once we walk around where you actually get on them at. Thought maybe, maybe somebody would be coming out, but there comes some. <laughs> All right. Right next to here is the Cyclone, which this is basically a pool you get in with the life jacket. And once it turns on, it kind of circles you around at a fast pace. Um, I am not sure if they actually consider it high thrill. I would say, oh, I'm seeing the sign over there. It's moderate. That's what I was thinking. I mean, it's 
you could not be a strong swimmer probably and still get in it's three and a half foot of water but um and you do have to have a life jacket in order to get in there we have made our way over here to riptide racer you do start the line down here because you have to grab a mat here at the bottom of the hill and then you walk up get in another line up there at the top and then race down and you know we love these race rides so these are always a lot of fun and i found out that this was another one that is offered with the um, h2 go once you get past the riptide racers you have options of a few ways to go you have the raging rapids and runaway raft ride and we'll get ready to walk up there i'll show you those slides you end up having to go up the hill to get in line for the riptide racers or make your way on around and you can also go over to twin twister both of these right here the raging rapids and the runaway raft ride are both raft rides so again they will be included in the h2 go if you purchased uh, yep because right there's the sign of the lane to enter for the h2 go if you have purchased that so you won't have to wait in a long line the raging rapids is a single raft ride so you will ride by yourself on this you go on this side and if you have double or triple people you would go to the runaway raft ride there's a better look at these single tubes for the raging rapids it comes out right here on this side and then over there you have the double and triple tubes that are for the runaway raft ride now we're at the end of the park on this side and we have derwood overdrop and twin twisters these are two high thrill high thrill now <laughs> definitely high thrill body slides but now the twin twisters are on each side of the daredevil drop which is the middle slide and these are actually three high thrill speed slides they are body slides and let me just say from experience it's a long way up those steps once you exit from twin twisters or daredevil drop you have a couple of options here you can head back down that way to where riptide racers um, or go up the hill we'll go that way in a few minutes um, and head back around to the other side of the park or you can come up this walkway which will lead you up towards where the lazy river is or the happy harbor on the back side of the kids area here we are at the lazy river which the entrance is right there and back here we have the other back side of the kids area which is actually splash island and they have this little tube slide right here which is basically a kid's slide and here we have the mild lazy river entrance now i believe yes it was uh, from what i had talked to someone earlier and i was finding out about the h2 go pass the lazy river is a part of the h2 go pass so and the lines do actually get very long during the summer for this lazy river so might want might be worth it to check that out As we're walking down here we have one more side entrance into the happy harbor and notice the happy harbor is a gated area so makes it a little bit safer to have your kids in there because you do have to lift up on the handle to be able to get out of that area for the purpose of showing you around I'm right back here at the raging rapids and runway raft ride and I'm gonna head up the hill this is where you would go once you get your mat for the riptide racers as well Phew, y'all I'm gonna just give you a warning climbing these areas like over there at that raft ride whew, it'll get you out of breath for sure but here is a top at the riptide racers these do have some enclosed area that you are in and then you come out into the open area and see who actually won the race 
but we love these type of rides. We really do. It's some of our favorites and definitely some of Tyler's favorites. Up here beside where Riptide Racer is, the start of it is the actual entrance to the Bombs Away. This is the new High Thrill Slide that opened in 2022. And we did ride this last year and I will say this is definitely a high thrill. Both of these slides, you even you have one that's enclosed in the tube so you make some turns and swooshes around there. Tyler rode it once last year. We had it on video as well. And I rode the open straight down slide. Both of these, you will get in basically a capsule there at the top of the slide and they'll close you in and the platform drops out from under your feet to release you. So they are high thrill and let me just go ahead and tell you, I said it in the video last year, do not wear hats, glasses, nothing. No loose items, period. Because when you get up there, they'll make you walk back down with them. So um, definitely no loose items. Beside Bombs Away entrance is also the top entrance to the uh, Dragon's Den. Now you do, and I'll, I'll walk around there and show you, but you do actually have to wait in line down at the bottom to get your tube. And then you come up here, and this is where the line is once you get your tube. Now this is basically a, I call them toilet bowl type slide. You come down the chute there. It is a raft ride, so it should be on that H2 Go Pass. And then you make some circles inside the the uh, toilet bowl there, as, we, as I call it, and then come out down at the bottom. Here is a side view of the bombs away, and the wave pool is back there. We're working our way around, just to give you an idea where we're at. The Riptide Racer entrance is right there, and here is the entrance for the Bermuda Triangle. These are aggressive sides. I said they were high thrill earlier, I think, but. They're aggressive slides, so they just rate them as number three. These used to be the serpentine slides. They've freshly painted them, got some disco lights in there. And here is just a height info board for if you can ride the Bermuda Triangle. So you have to be 45 inches in order to ride. I think from right here coming down the hill, I'll go around here and finish in this corner first before we start working our way back around from the wave pool. Again, there is the bombs away slide. And like I was saying, you can see that one of them is a circular tube. So you have more than just the straight down shot. And the one there in the middle, the red, white, and blue one is basically drop you and you just shoot straight down. Here's a better look at the bottom of Dragon's Den that I was telling you was kind of the toilet bowl thing that you go into out of that chute as you come down that slide. So again, it is a raft ride, so it should be eligible for that H2 go. Just as another note on Dragon's Den, it these are the tubes that you get to ride. They are double tubes. You cannot ride as a single rider, so if you're here by yourself, don't take your time getting in line because you do have to have two people to ride. And on the very end of this side of the park, past the Dragon's Den, you have the soap zone, which is basically your typical kids area with your splash zone. This is a Thunder Bay Wave Pool. This is an aggressive attraction. You do have pretty big waves and the pool goes pretty deep so if you're not a strong swimmer i wouldn't go very far without the life jacket and they do have life jackets provided but also let me say be careful when you're walking out there some of that concrete right there is just slick as a baby's rear put it that way so i've seen a lot of people slip so just be careful if you don't have shoes on back behind that do we have some lockers and restrooms up there at the top and then I'll show you two more attractions that are back here. Right over here, we have a couple more body slides. We have the double barrel blast and the tropical drop. Both of these are very short, very quick little body slides. You do drop down in pretty deep water. I think it's like eight or 
probably I think I'm seeing eight feet over there so and you really do need to be a strong swimmer on these got one more attraction to cover over here and that is called the edge the line for it is right on the other side of there where we were at the wave pool but it is a raft ride but yeah you basically just see how far you're going to go up on the other side here once you come down let's see if somebody's going to fix to come down there they go from here the next attraction that would be running counterclockwise once you come in from the entrance of the park would be the kids area now this right here is actually your first attraction if you went to the left when you come in the entrance because right there is where you would come in now i don't know about you but all of those attractions have me starving so let's go check out the food options i'm not going to cover every little snack and drink stand that they have just going to show you the major food options that they have so let's go check out something to eat crispies is right here near the wave pool area and they do have popcorn chicken and seafood so let's go check out the menu we have popcorn chicken basket popcorn shrimp basket fins and feathers which is both the chicken and shrimp or chicken surf fries which is waffle fries topped with popcorn chicken nacho cheese and your choice of barbecue buffalo or ranch along with some sides back there next up for the food we have captain eli's food court which is your basic burgers hot dogs barbecue sandwich chicken sandwich chicken tenders chicken caesar wrap and a chicken caesar salad so there is the menu for captain eli's we have several eating options right here at the entrance you have the smokehouse which is the smoked turkey legs so here's the menu for the smokehouse turkey leg basket they also have some soft serve ice cream for those hot sunny days and right next door is the funnel cake wreath down here we have the walking nachos walking tacos frozen bananas here is the menu for this food stand and last but not least we say the best till last because i am actually getting ready to grab lunch here but luigi's old world pizza this is definitely my personal favorite place to eat here at wet and wild and here's your menu prices for luigi's you've got the pepperoni flatbread 14.99 or cheese 14.99 that does come with a breadstick and we have some wraps or salads to choose from just to give you an idea what the flatbread pizza looks like for pepperoni there it is with the breadstick now they used to have the best thick crust pizza here but they did change to this last year and it's pretty good it's probably not better than the thick crust but it's good looking to make your day here at wet and wild even more enjoyable let's check out some of the places where they have cabanas um, they do have cabana rental in several different places here at the park um, it offers you shade yeah let's check out the cabanas be sure to check out online um, but if this will give you an idea for when you call or when you reserve online which ones you may want the bayside cabanas are actually around the wave pool so if you want the convenience of being right around the wave pool and the view right here we did have a cabana right over there last year and i'll be sure to put the link up above for the video from that that we shared but again that is the bayside cabanas we have the ocean view private cabana rentals back here this is still right here very convenient to the wave pool and to be honest with you i believe these would probably have a little more shade than what the bayside cabanas do these cabanas are over in the happy harbor area so that is the kids play area they're well shaded kind of private up here and quiet but still very accessible to the kids play area i also saw this which is just a basic rundown of their cabanas that will tell you a little bit about the cabana and the locations that they have available and what they as far as number of guests etc that they hold so 
there's just a little bit of a description of that so be sure and check that out and that may also be a determining factor when you are deciding which cabana you want to rent that pretty much does it for our walk around today and with some of the updates at wet and wild emerald point for 2023 along with be sure to come out and try the new slide well the redone slides the bermuda triangle um and check those out i pretty much covered um most of the food i didn't stop and show all the little small um you know small food stands you know or drink stands or icy stands didn't show all of those but i showed the major food stops i hope when you plan your day out here at the water park that you have an awesome time in the meantime be sure to check us out on facebook instagram TikTok. we post a lot of stuff on there that doesn't um, necessarily make it into the vlog and we post there daily and be sure and check out this video and this video that might interest you they are some older wet and wild videos that we had that might show something i didn't show today have a great time and we will see you on the next one bye